Hello VC, it's Steve Whitty here, um, a series of videos um, called Stars and 45s which is sort of showing off uh, recent single purchases I've uh, been been making, I've got quite a few so rather than doing them in one dirty great big video, um, I'll do them in batches of small videos which I'll record today but publish throughout the week. So as I said I hope everyone's well and you've had a good week so far, whether it's starting to get colder uh, and I think we're in October tomorrow and clocks go back towards the end of October. So let's start showing off the first single. This is a certain ratio, won't stop loving you. Um, this came out in 1980, 1988 or not? Yeah, 1990, sorry. Very dancey indie type, uh, not really my cup of tea, but it was okay. Next up, this is um, America, Horse With No Name, um, their big hit single in the UK. Now, uh, obviously known as America, um, they were actually grew up in the UK because I think their, their parents were stationed as a serviceman in the UK. So, yeah. Big hit. I know John Peel weren't impressed. They <laughs> they went to John Peel to sort of get get some critical, um, some 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 critical acknowledgement, and he sort of turned them down. He didn't like them. This is Animals House of the Rising Sun. Now this is the 1982 reissue. So on the B side, you've got Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. I'm crying. On the back of this becoming a successful hit, um, the band reformed. In 1983, uh, for which the album, which became the Ark, and they toured, and I think they supported the police a lot. Next up, this is the Apple Jacks. Tell me when. This is their big hit single. Now, the Apple Jacks, as James Griffiths pointed out to me when I posted it on Facebook, really was probably the first big hit single. Brumbeat, even though they were technically not from Birmingham, they're from Solihull, which is where I, the town I work. And it's quite a well, <laughs> say, well-to-do area. Um, uh, John Six Inch Penis pointed that out to me when I said it was a brummy band. But uh, yeah, don't, yeah, you don't call people from Solihull brummies. <laughs> they don't like it. This is something a little bit different. This, I got this from my local record shop. Pete recommended it. He brought the collection from the, um, I think one of the members, and he included with a load of the singles. This is Aston Hall, um, named after a, a local. Uh, landmark in Birmingham and um, this is their single The Daily, St Daily Sun and um, it's not bad actually it's very it's off its time like late 70s punk new wave yeah I quite enjoyed listening to that more in the classic rock vein this is um, Bad Companies Can't Get Enough their debut single it was a hit in the UK but it was a bigger hit in the US and the album well I believe was the number one album in the US for them and then the lead off single for Bad Company of the Straight Shooter album was Good Loving Gone Bad. Um, again, minor hit in the UK, hit in the US. It's fair to say, and I might have mentioned this before, Chris Blackwell sort of was not keen on Bad Company. He just thought it was too, uh, how am I going to say, too commercial, too mainstream for his liking, too mainstream rock wasn't really his his bag and even though they were very successful at that time and the money was coming in for Ireland he was only too happy for a, they, to let them run down their contract and go off and join Swan Song absolute beautiful single this is this is Phil Bailey Philip Bailey walking on Chinese war this was the follow-up single way to Easy Lover which he had recorded with Phil Collins uh, which had got him, uh, got a number one single. One his big hit single, but it's just an absolute gorgeous track. Uh, the band Rag Mama Rag, um, the lit hit single that was off the self-titled album, beside the Unfaithful S Servant. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's an album I need to get hold of actually on vinyl. I've got it on CD, but uh, a classic song. Uh, the classic groups. This is some singles, some of the Beatles singles I hadn't got before. From Me to You, which got the B side Thank You Girl. Can't Buy Me Love, followed by You Can't Do That. 
I have got this single with uh, a copy of this single, but not uh, not the solid uh, centre one version. That's Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane. So you don't need me to talk to you about that. Likewise, we've got uh, Hello Goodbye, B side. I am the Walrus. Next up, for all fa well, fan, as I posted on Facebook, for all fans of Wolverhampton Wanderers, this is Jeff Beck's Hi Ho Silver Lining. Um, this was like produced by Mickey Mouse. This is like Jeff Beck's. Um, it, it, it was a top twenty hit for him as a minor hit, but it's one of these songs that um, took a life of its own with the um, with students. It was a very popular student. Um, um, discos or whatever it's a because it's a good great little sing-along tune especially if you've had a few pints down yeah and Wolverhampton Wonders fans adopted the song they play this as when they um uh before the match starts and instead of hi ho silver lining it's hi ho Wolverhampton they they go uh the impressive noise and uh, back by uh Bex Bolero some Bee Gees for you, some early Bee Gees, the New York Mining Disaster 1941, the debut hit single in the UK. Follow up, a B-side, I Can't See Nobody, which a track I do love. And then the first number one, this is Massachusetts, the, the lights um, went out on, went, went out in, sorry, in brackets. And on B-side, you've got Banner of the, uh, Banner of the UFO. And then you've got World, and then on the B side of that, Sir Jeffrey Saved the World. This little beauty here is Paranoid. This is an original single, uh, Paranoid, uh, B side The Wizard, uh, top five in the Sabbath in 1970. Um, 1970, a lot of classic um, rock got into the um, top five, free and deep purple had number two hit singles. Um, yeah, Bowie, Golden Years, B side. Can you hear me? And we got James Brown, hot this hot pants part one, and B side, parts two and three. Always room for a bit of James Brown, so I was more than happy when. Found this as well. That's get off of that thing, and then B side release the pre pressure. Have a quick slurp before I get the next batch. Now, this is a bit of a curious. This is Burundi Black by. Burundi Stevenson Black. Um, this is really about drums. It's sort of like the percussion sound. Very influential at its time. It was a minor hit single, but Adam and Yance sort of took on that drum Burundi drum beat as the basis of their pop sound, their base for their pop success. And we got the birds. All I really want to do. B side feel a whole lot better, which preferably I prefer that song. Now it's a bit of a curity, a bit of a one well one hit wonder. This is Jasper Carrot, Funky Moped. Um, produced by Jeff Lynn. Um Jasper Carrot, real name Bob Davis. Uh his best school mate was Bevan. Um so there was a link and he was a Birmingham com Birmingham comedian. Um used to do a lot Initially, it was also a folk musician at the time. Um, this is very much a comedy single. And it ended up getting banned by the BBC because of the B-side. Well, the B-side got banned. Um, it's Magic Roundabout. It's basically a skit about... Uh, he made up an episode. It was saying he found an episode in Magic Roundabout that wouldn't um, show. And um, it's quite adult in its humour. Very funny, though. Very funny. Funny it's of its time. Changing tact. Uh, Cascades, Rhythm of the Rain. And then uh, B-side, Let Me Be. This is a reissue um, from 1974. 
This is Chubby Checkers, let's twist again. And B-side, the twist. Uh, it's a reissue, because I think it became a minor hit single for somebody else, so the record company decided, well, let's put the original out. And, and so it became a hit again. China Crisis, King in a Catholic Style. Wake Up, in brackets. Oh, sorry. B-side, side blue C. Eric Clapton, I shot the sheriff. Um, B side, give me strength. This signal the big comeback for Clapton after all his drug problems. Um, number one hit single in the uh, US, or was it or at least top ten? I thought it, and it was a top. I think top might have been top ten, top twenty in the UK. And he also introduced Bob Marley to a lot of people as well, being the cover of his song. Um, yeah, so it's a classic single. And then for the rugby fans, you've got Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, and backed by Pretty Blue Eyes. Sweet sing, um, swing Low, Sweet Chariot is what they um, sing at the England Rugby Internationals. It's sort of like a theme song for them. Um, yeah. Again, when, when a few beer, it sounds better when a few beers come, go down, yeah. And finally, from Eric Clapton, I've got Picked Up Wonderful Tonight. Backed by Peaches and Diesel. Um, wonderful tonight. Uh, probably the second second of the songs that he wrote about um, Patty Boyd. Um, Layla obviously being the first one, being more famous. Tender ballad, really, really nice song. Then we got Arthur Connolly, Sweet Soul Music, Classic Soul. We're backed by Let's Go Steady. I think this is a reissue. Um, originally came out in 1967. Sam Cooke, Twisting the Night Away, backed by One More Time. Big influence on Rod Stewart, Sam Cooke, and one of the great voices. In fact, yeah, he wrote his stuff as well. Um, yeah, I'd need to find some more of his stuff. I've got a couple of CDs. And I think I'll find in this batch is John Cougar's I Need a Lover. And back by Born Reckless, um, John Cougar, obviously John Cougar, Mello, John Mellencamp, um, particularly in the late seventies, was pitched highly in Britain. He was on television a lot, um, sort of got based a little bit in Britain. And this was the nearest he got to a hit single during that time. Obviously, things. I think there was a link with um, David Bowie's old manager, uh, Tony DeVries. I think, and it's, this is on Rod Stewart's label, Reva. Um, so and it, it didn't quite work out, and I think he went back and sort of re, I will not say reinvented himself, but he just aimed himself at the American audience. Um, he obviously became he went on to bigger and better things, but this is sort of like a good introduction. I think Pat Benatar did a cover of this as well. So I'll end the first batch of singles here, VC. So um, stay tuned. I'll be recording episode two very shortly. Um, and so if you've come across this channel for the first time and like what you see um, click on the subscribe button yeah um, thumbs up thumbs down love the interaction and feel free to comment I will get back to you um, so I'll leave it there and then my throat's starting to go so I'm gonna get through the rest of them um, until the next um, video VC take care of yourselves um, keep spinning more importantly keep smiling <laughs>